Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 23 of the April, uh, April? What am I talking about? July 20, uh, July Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, is it a sliding window day again? Because uh, it seems like we have a couple of sliding windows. Uh, maybe just yesterday, I don't know. So let's take a look. Uh, I don't have any updates today. I just went four miles tempo. Um, not too slow, not too fast, just kind of, uh, yeah, because I'm going away for the weekend, which maybe you'll see parts of, and just try to enjoy myself before that, or the opposite of that. <laughs> Work out hard so I can enjoy the weekend. But yeah, all right, let's take a look at today's bomb. We have 1717, maximum score from removing substrings. All right, you're given two uh, string S X and two integer X and Y. You can perform two types of operation any number of times. We move the substring A, B, and gain X, and B, A, and gain Y. Um, hmm. And N is pretty big, so you cannot do... These kind of decision problems are always tricky. I think the, the one thing is that given that N is 10 to the 5th, um, eh, okay, so maybe there's some greedy idea there, right? Uh, and it's a little bit working backwards, because... Because um, even if you do any naive DP or something like that, it'll probably be at least n square, um, if not n cube. Uh, and you could probably even practice doing that. But in terms of, uh, yeah, trying to do it a little bit better and trying to do it in, well, O of n or n, uh, n log n, which will keep it linear, right? Uh, hmm. And it all depends on the X and Y as well, right? Because maybe it just makes more sense. Because, because uh, okay, so they're only really decisions if we have A, B, A, right? Um, yeah, and in this case, they're always one or the other, right? And what I mean by that is that if you have a lot of these, it almost doesn't matter. Right. If you or what I mean is that um, if you have a string of A B A B A B Bs, then now um, it cascades, right? Because then now you have this, and it almost looks like a recursive function, is what I mean, right? And it just keeps going down. Uh, but maybe another way to look at it is that okay, given a substring of something like this, um, actually, maybe I'm a little bit wrong, or not. I think I'm a little bit wrong. Actually, just because I, I forgot that you keep on going and not just remove the substring once. Maybe I was thinking of yesterday. And what I mean by that is just that if you have BBAA, you actually do this once and then twice, right? So I'm trying to, I think the first step for me is just trying to figure out where are the decisions. Is it always, does it always make sense to choose greedy? And what I mean by greedy is that given why, uh, or give, like given y is bigger than x, you do b a, and with x is greater than y, you do a b. Is that a reasonable greedy to do? I mean, it's it's almost the first naive thought, but does that make sense? I want to say yes. Because in this example, in this toy example, you 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 can um, well you have the same number of a b's and b a's right so so then in a greedy sense that makes sense but what if you have like uh, just something like this then now you have five a b's and four b a's right so that's fine too right in the sense that you can just do the math right uh, and then actually it's going to be four b a's plus a b at the end. So maybe not even that bad. So then that swaps because then now you get to remove the AB, right? And when you move the AB, then it's just this again. So in that sense, then it is just greedy, right? Is that sufficient? Because then now my thing is that maybe we just do two pass. Or like, how do you do greedy, right? Uh, or what? what is like the clean way to do greedy? And what I mean by that is, I don't know, 
like uh, let's say you have something like BBAABB, -B -B, now there are a lot of decisions, right? Now you could choose ABA, AB, and then maybe this and then BA instead. Um, so then which way would you go about it? These kind of problems are kind of very difficult for me because they're always like ad hoc and I'm trying to, um, the way that I think through it is just by going through every um, possibility. And I, I don't know that, like, like I'm not, I, I think, so what I'm doing right now is just thinking through the proofs in my head, because it's just, like, I mean, yeah, it's easy to say that it could be greedy. I'm mean, honestly, if this was a, uh, a contest or something, I might YOLO in it, because, you know, uh, uh, because I may spend five minutes penalty, uh, get a wrong answer, and then now I could debug it, right? And I understand what I'm doing wrong, versus, well, I don't know, may, taking five minutes to uh, maybe get it wrong, right? So, yeah. Um, oh, excuse me. This is definitely a weird one for sure. Now I'm trying to think whether there's, for this particular case, and I, I just want to also point out that this is a special problem, right? Because A, B, and B, it overlaps in a funky way. And what I'm trying to think through is whether, let's say you try to remove all the A, Bs, right? For whatever reason. You try to remove all the A, Bs, and then now there are B, As in the future, maybe. Okay, fine, right? But does... Is there a way such that after you remove the BAs, then now you have ABs remaining? I'm trying to think through that idea. So then now you have BA, and then now you remove that, you have AB. But in this case, because you have AB here, and the idea is I'm trying to construct is that we, after you remove the BAs, now you have ABs left. But but in this case, you would also just remove these two first, right? Like in the first pass of AB. I don't know. Honestly, uh, even if I get it right, I don't think this is a satisfactory can, uh, uh, um, situation. But... Um, but we'll see, right? So maybe we'll do a if... Uh, how do we want to write it? Um... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think for how do I write it without writing a lot of repetition code, which is like if X, because I, it's easy to write, write something like this and then do X first, else do Y first, right? Or something like that. But I'm trying to, uh, all right, and maybe you just write something like, um, Uh, okay, yeah, maybe I maybe I do something like um, right, and then if x is less than y, then first let me just swap, right? Okay, and then now we have four. Do a stack for uh, points, S string. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't even know what was it. I'm trying to figure out a name for it. I, I write S for string, but a substring maybe? <laughs> In uh, first, second, right? Uh, and we have to keep track of the score. 
Um, all right, then now stack dot append. Oh wait, no, no. Uh, eh, maybe, maybe I do it this way. I meant this stack dot append um, c. If length of stack is greater than you go to two, and stack of do is you go to um, substring sub. Oh no, top of the stack. Uh, so then this is one and something like that. If this is the case, then we pop, pop, and then total we add it by the points, right? And then at the very end, we just update to stack and then we should be good, hopefully. Hmm. Something like that, right? Yellow submit. Maybe I could have t tested it a little bit more. All right, looks okay. But yeah, I mean, honestly, there is some like weird property about A B and B A. Like not just those two characters, but the fact that they interlock in the middle that makes it so that this works. But I'm not quite sure how I would prove it. Uh, and in fact, the first time I got this, I got this wrong for that result. Not even close. Um, if X is equal to Y. Oh, actually, I don't know why this is wrong. This seems mostly... Oh, no. See, this is also greedy, but greedy in the wrong way, right? It just kind of removes whatever you can uh, and instead of two pass, which honestly... Wait, why does this open here and the, the other one opens there? I don't get it. Um, nah, in any case. Mm. Well, th th the reason why I'm looking at it is that this is actually very different. The second pass, I just take whatever I can, but maybe in a proof by contradiction kind of way, um, or proof by AC maybe, because you can't prove anything else, then, you know, uh, maybe this is interesting. I don't know what is going on here, honestly. This this is a madman's. Uh, this is a madman's self. <laughs> honestly, I don't know how, how to explain to you today. Uh, maybe today I've just failed. Um, it's one of those, like I said, it is greedy. It is stacky. I think it is just about building test cases and inputs so that you build an intuition to them. I think the idea is kind of what I said earlier, right? In that... Um, there is some exchange principle here, um, like because everything that we did, um, like you can exchange it for the other thing is what I mean, right? Like something like that. I, I was trying to say that, okay, maybe you do the BA, BA first in the middle, but then now you, that means that it is just two BAs and one AB, right? But then now if you do it the other way, uh, it's going to be two ABs, one BA, right? So there is this like, swap principle um, and maybe the, maybe that's why this works is that whenever you have two choices no that's not true because you say something like this then it, it but if you have the same number of uh, let's say given a substring or whatever if you have the same number of a and b's then one is that there's no impossible or there isn't a case in which I mean, there is an impossible case if you only left with A's or B's. So, okay. So, maybe going back a little bit on the proof is that the only time you stop is if you have only A's and B's. So, other than that, because you have more A's or more B's, you can say that um, you have more of one or the other, right? And if you have more of one or the other, that means that if you remove the extra ones, then now you have two things that are equal. And now, if, if a substring, and it could be in two directions, I suppose, that A, B, and B, A are equal, or A, A's and B's are, have equal amount and they match each other in some way, then, um, then it just becomes a question of, of you know, what what's, gives you more an X and a, or a Y, right? On cases where you don't, you get to choose like this one. 
Uh, something like that along those lines, but honestly, I'm not super con convinced about this, so I don't know how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, this is linear though. Um, we just went through the string twice, but that's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. My apologies. I don't think this is a, a great uh, thing, but what did the hints tell you? I mean, yes, but can you prove it? I don't know. I mean, okay, fine. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. But that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.